the concentration for my degree is in sport physiology. Um, so it's a little more focused on kind of uh, research of the physiology of sport performance and human uh, performance, things like that. Sports really have played a major part in my life for about as long as I can remember. Uh, and they've had a profound impact on me in multiple ways. So really the second that I learned that studying sports for a living was even a thing, and that there was graduate degrees in sports science and stuff, uh, I kind of knew that it was something that I was interested in pursuing. I guess what's unique about the CERT department at ETSU is uh, they have one of the only true sports science programs in the U.S. Um, and when I say a true sports science program, I mean a, a graduate program that's specifically focused on the study of sport and sport performance um, rather than just kind of general exercise science or health science like you'll find at most uh, similar programs at other universities. Um, and kind of within that sports science program, Another aspect that's especially unique is uh, the students within our program are able to get practical experience working as like strength coaches and sports scientists um, with the teams at ETSU and other local universities. And that kind of opportunity to do that while working on your program of study is, is really rare. I live very closely with Dr. Mike Stone. I've, I've taken multiple classes with him um, as well as he's involved in the weightlifting team that I work with. Um, and then also I've worked very close with Dr. Satoshi Mizuguchi, who is a, uh, another professor within our program. And he's also the head coach of the weightlifting team that I am an assistant coach with. So I get to work alongside him a lot as well. Dr. Stone and Dr. Mizuguchi both kind of make for perfect mentors for me in that uh, we share a lot of similar interests um, within the field of sport and sports science. Uh, specifically with weightlifting and interest in strength power athletes and athlete monitoring and topics like that. Um, and they both also have a ton of expertise in the area and tremendous work ethics that I could kind of look up to. Um, and that kind of combination of things makes it very easy for me to, you know, constantly kind of pick their mind and ask questions relevant to the work and the research that I'm doing. Kind of early on in undergraduate at my original university, uh, it came to a point in time that I didn't really know what I was doing. I was kind of two or three years into switching majors a lot and um, kind of thinking a lot about if college was really for me because I just didn't know what I wanted to do. Um, and then an opportunity arose for me to come to ETSU uh, primarily for an athletic scholarship in weightlifting, which I now work with and coach. Um, and then kind of that brought me here to ETSU where I was able to learn more about our, our programs and the graduate program um, and learn more about what sports science was and, and that I could actually study it as a graduate degree. Um, and then now I'm here, you know, several years after that point in time where I wasn't even sure if I was going to continue to go to college. Um, and I'm working on finishing my third degree and earning a PhD. Um, and for a first generation college student, that's a pretty big deal for me. Um, and, and if it wasn't for climate college, I just don't know if that really would have been a possibility.